Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Alexandra and I hope you enjoy spending time with me. But right now it's quarantine, so I'm trying to be a beauty guru here. It's my first makeup video on YouTube and it's my first video in English on YouTube, so I'm a little nervous. My accent's coming through crazy because when I stress, when I'm nervous, that's what happens. But today I created this makeup look, this cat eye, whatever you want to call it. So if you like it and if you want to know how to get the same look, please keep watching because I want you to see what I'm doing. Hopefully it will work out. For this look, I've been using two palettes, the Smashbox and the Morphe one. I mean, you guys can use whatever you want, um, but I just wanted little gray and purples and I never do eyeshadow, so I thought it would be a fun way to do it. I already primed my eye. I just put a little concealer and setting powder. So now we're gonna start building the eyeshadow. Honestly, what I want to do first is just go with my hula bronzer and start building the little crease. So I want to pull everything up. As you see my hairstyle, um, I did two ponytails up because it lifts the eye. You can do tape, you can do plastic surgery, but why do plastic surgery when you can just do some ponytails? So I will follow the direction of the pull and just start building up with my hula bronzer. Then I'm just gonna go up this way to kind of create an illusion of a cut crease. So just follow the shape of your eye like this and then pull it out. Let me try zooming you in a little more. Hello. Wow, we're all close and personal here. So now we're gonna get to the actual shadows. I'm gonna continue building this kind of shape to elongate the eye and bring it down and then a little cut crease action. And I'm gonna go with this Smashbox palette. What I'm gonna do is mix shades. I'm gonna start with this kind of colors and then after I blend that, I'm gonna go with a little deeper color. So I start with a fluffy brush and then I'm gonna get to more and more precise brush. Also, little trick. I'm gonna put a little bit of setting powder, just any setting powder will do, and a brush, and I will put it as a shape. I wanna make sure I keep this shape as a liner shape, and the best way to do it is putting tape, but since I already have foundation, I'm going to do it with the powder like that. Next, I'm gonna go with a little denser brush and take darker colors and continue the same kind of effect. What we're trying to achieve is like the illusion of liner with shadow and then a little cut crease. So now since we're done with our fluffy brushes, we are going to take the powder off because we want to do more precise stuff and powder is just going to be in our way. Take a pencil brush. Um, sorry, I'm not saying what brush is there, but I'm going to leave it in the descriptions below. But this is an e.l.f. brush and I'm going to go with this purpley dark shade and do exact same thing. <laughs> I know it looks crazy right now, but it's all about taking your time and building it up. It's also kind of hard for me because I already did one eye off camera and I'm the kind of person who usually goes back and forth between eyes. So I'm trying to mimic the same thing, but I don't really remember exactly what I did. And then between I always go with a bigger brush and just kind of blend out the edges. We don't want any harsh lines. I'm gonna take even tinier brush and then go with a deep chocolate color. So now we're gonna do the fun part. I'm gonna cut the crease. I'm not gonna use a concealer because I don't want it to be like extra extra. So I'm just gonna use the shadow and a little brush. Palette. Um, 35F, my friend gave it to me, and I'm gonna use the middle shade, um, this one. It's a very bright purple shine shade, and I usually don't like purple, but for some reason, today I was filling in. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over and underneath where our top line is, so right under our fake crease line, basically. 
we're building the crease and after we build the crease we're gonna fill out this negative space right here that we have so it's all that purple color <laughs> Now we want to blend the edge so the purple goes straight into this wing liner and for that I'm just going to take a deeper brown shade that we already used mix it with a little dark purple shade and then just go ahead and go in between. So now for the fun part, not the fun part, that's my least favorite part is starting to do the liner. We're going to take a little flat brush like this and our black shade and we're going to start drawing the liner before we actually go as a liner. The reason I like to do that is because I don't trust myself as a liquid liner right away so I want to go with the shadow first and then start building. So as you can see I drew this little trace what I'm doing from top to bottom so I want this effect of this bird eye, cat eye, whatever you want to call it. So I hold the brush and just go down. Same way I go up. So this is the liquid liner. My favorite liquid liner of all times is the NYX one. I've tried expensive ones, I've tried cheap ones. This one is the best. It's like a felt pen liner. Um, I gotta hold my breath during this step. I cannot talk into liner. I'm really bad at liner in general. So I'm gonna go do this real quick and I'll be Okay, our liner is done and they're, I mean they're sisters. They're not twins, but they're sisters. We're doing okay. So what I want to do right now is fill out this inner corner. I'm going to continue with that purple shade and then I'm just going to put a little sparkly white highlighting shade right in my tear duct and underneath my brow to kind of tie it all together. Okay, so let's go with the same purple shade as we did on the lid. Just bringing it into the inner corner a little bit. And now on top of it and a little above, and just underneath the brow, we're going to mix all the top row shades together. Look at this pop. A bird just flew into the window. I'm not even kidding you. I'm sitting right in front of my balcony because I don't have any light set up. I'm just a beginner YouTuber, you know? So I'm just sitting like right in front of my balcony and this bird just flew in. Oh my goodness. Okay. Pretty. Let me um, just correct the liner a little bit. I'm a big perfectionist, so whenever I see a tiniest thing, I have to correct it. And the worst thing is that most of the time when I go to correct something, I just make it worse. So let's hope and pray I'm not going to do that this time. Okay, we're good. I'm going to do my waterline. My um, upper waterline was black too, so you can see where it starts and ends. Waterline is done. Let's do our lower lashes really quick. Um, we're not going to do anything crazy on there. We're just gonna take a little, little pencil-like brush, go with darker browns again, and then we're just gonna buff it out. As you see on this side, it's pretty, pretty simple. Basically, we're using the same shades as everywhere else on top. And I'm having a little fallout here, so I'm just gonna take a little powder brush and flick it. With such a big makeup look, it's better to do it before your foundation, but I had something to do prior to this, so I already had a little makeup on, unfortunately, and I was too lazy to wash my face, I know. So, it's okay. The fallout is not terrible, so we're surviving. <laughs> Another thing I noticed, I brought the inner corner here a little to the bottom lash. So I'm going to do it the same way. I'm going to connect my inner corner to the bottom lash line. Okay, now time for mascara and lash. For mascara, I'm going to use uh, Lash Paradise by L'Oreal. So we're going to coat our top and bottom lashes real quick. I guess my camera overheated and while it broke on me for a little bit, I put up my lash on. So those are uh, Lily lashes. I think they're in the style Miami, but I'm not sure. I found them. They were just in an empty box like this, so I have no idea what style they are. But what I'm doing, I'm doing the inner corner really close. I cut them in half, and then I did the outer corner at the liner, not at my lash line. This way is giving a little lift. Lifting it up. I already did this brow off camera, kind of finishing it up, so I'm going to do this brow now. 
I'm gonna give it a little tail so the tail is kind of ends I don't know like right here I'm gonna use benefit brow pencil and I'm not gonna do it really crazy but you know just give it a little something and instead of bringing it down like my brow normally goes I'm gonna bring it straight let's see <laughs> Eyes are done. Let's zoom you out. Um, excuse my wrinkle backdrop. I just got it yesterday and I realized I don't have enough clips. So I need to buy more clips to kind of tighten the backdrop. I'm just learning. But isn't it cute? I think it's really cute. So we'll see. Okay. I'm just babbling. Let's do our base. I already did my foundation, concealer, powder. So let's do a little contour. I'm going to do Hula Bronzer. And you guys will be surprised, this brush that comes with it, I always throw them away. But this time around, I was like, oh, let me hold on to it. And I tried doing my cheekbones with that, and I'm obsessed. So, only for cheekbones, though. So let's go ahead and sizzle our cheeks. I don't know how to act. Well, I guess since now I'm not doing eyes, I don't have to be, like, too, too focused. So I can actually talk to you. Um, this is my first, as I said, I think earlier, YouTube video in English. And my first makeup look that I've ever done on YouTube. So I'm kind of, I don't know, I feel kind of awkward. I know I'm coming across as probably awkward and I'm sorry for that. Nervous. I don't know, it's hard. It looks easy, but it's really hard. So I'm getting out of my comfort zone. It's quarantine time. I really need to, you know, step out and do what I want to do. And makeup videos has been something I've been wanting to do for a long time because I myself is a big junkie of watching beauty gurus you know what i'm like why can i why cannot i be one i mean i'm no nikki tutorials or jeffree star you know but maybe one day who knows <laughs> hi how are you well jeffree if you want to collab let me know i will gladly do that can you imagine like how's you guys is quarantine going um you know Mine has been about plus 10 pounds, I would say. I'm eating my entire fridge. I'm not working out. I'm seeing some of my friends doing home workouts every day, and I'm so proud of them. Power to them, but I've tried. I Every day I tell myself, okay, today is the day. And today is never the day, apparently, because my butt does not fit into anything. I'm lucky enough that I'm still working and i've been working the entire quarantine so i'm blessed in that way but on the weekends i'm eating my entire fridge i'm laying on the couch that's why i'm trying to do something like this you know to kind of occupy my time occupy myself um and it's been fun so since i already contoured i want this look to be really bronzy on the face because our eyes are very cool tone and stuff so i want our skin to be nice and bronzy and just golden so i'm gonna go with this princess Park Park Avenue Princess palette by I don't know who, oh by Tarte. Let's go and mix this matte shade with a little sparkly shade and just give it a little bronze with a big fluffy Morphe brush. Go on the cheeks. I'm not gonna put blush on because our eyes is already so much. So I'm gonna use this bronzer as my blush basically. I've been doing videos in Russian on my channel, so I'm assuming like people know who I am. But if you knew, my name is Alexandra. Um, I live in Corvallis, Oregon. I work for a grass seed company. I graduated from Oregon State. And I'm 24 years old. And I'm an Aquarius, if zodiac sign is your thing. Because apparently every time I see a comment, half of my comments are like, what's your zodiac sign? I didn't know it became such a big deal. I mean, I know a lot of my friends are really into like CoStar and stuff. Five facts about me, I guess. Also, I have a little screen up here and then the camera right there, so I'm always looking at the wrong place. I'm sorry about that. I'm learning, I promise. The same Morphe palette for my highlighter. Just grab a random shade. I do not, I know you guys are gonna scream, but I do not like highlighter on my cheeks. I only like it on my nose and above my cupid's bow. So let's do a little nose highlight. It's like a little explanation mark. 
I'm just gonna use my finger because why the heck not? Ooh, she is shiny. And let's do a little cupid bow. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm honestly like, it's weird. I'm trying to have a fun personality, but at the same time, I'm trying to be myself, and it's, mm, it's confusing. So confusing. Okay, let's do the lip. Zoom you in a little more. Uh, I'm thinking nude is the way to go, so I'm gonna use NYX in da, 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 nude beige. I'm gonna try putting everything below in the description of what I used today so you guys can, I don't know, buy it. I have no idea. Not sponsored. Can you imagine? Again, please, NYX, sponsor me. I would love that. Let's do our lips. <laughs> So this is the final look. I hope you like this little tutorial. I did a quick outfit change to kind of tie everything together. But if you like it, please let me know and I'm gonna film more of those tutorials. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!